Hi guys, this is Annie. I hope you all are doing great tonight. And tonight I am coming at you with my first spring manicure for 2017. And this one could also be used for Easter if you'd like. The colors are perfect for that. So let's begin. And these are the items I will be using on this manicure. They'll also be listed in the description box for you if needed. So starting from my right, I have my acetone, a lint roller brush, my stamping polish together with my base colors, some fast drying top coat, some nail jewels, my stamper and scraper, my stamping plate, and for my tools I have a detail brush. I also have a wax pencil that I will be using to pick up the jewels. If you don't have this, go ahead just grab something you can get your jewels out of. I have a cotton, a dotting tool. If you don't have this, you can also grab a bobby pin that works very well and an eyeshadow little sponge right here. So now that we have everything ready, let's begin. All right, my sweetheart. So I have already gone ahead and got a head start. And um, basically the colors I chose to do this manicure with was yellow, white, pink, blue, and then stamping with the very dark purple. So I will list the names of the colors at the bottom for you in the description box but basically what I did was I went ahead and I stamped on three nails which was the pinky the thumb and the middle finger and then the index finger and the ring fingernail I left with just a little tiny design on there just to break it up a little bit so we're gonna do that and the bottom of the stamping base color was white on there to make the other colors pop out and then I went ahead and applied two coats each of the blue and the pink. So for the bottom of the stamping polish here, we're actually going to do sponge on just a couple splots of the pink and the yellow and the green that I'll be using tonight just to have that rainbow effect if you could see that nice colorful nail underneath there. So when you stamp on it, it's not just a, a plain old white back in. You know, it kind of blends in really nice and it makes it look nice and colorful for spring and Easter. So that's what we're going to do now. And for that process, you can grab a piece of cosmetic sponge if you have, but I am actually going to use one of these little eyeshadow sponges. This worked really well for me, so I'll stick to that. Now what I went ahead and did is I wanted a very bright color as the base. So I'm actually using my yellow for that. And all these colors I'm using, they're nice and bright. I figured let me break out these nice bright colors and they look very, you know, much like spring and Easter. So this manicure can actually be used for both of them. And I'm actually going in and just taking my little sponge and scraping it right on the brush itself. Just pick some nail polish up like that. And then just tapping it in the white. More yellow than all the other colors. I am not completely going to hide that white, but I am going to cover at least 80% of the white. And I'll also do that for the thumb. And this is such a quick and easy manicure. It's not even funny how quick it's going to be done. So there we have the two nails covered with yellow. So as you can see, it's more yellow, but at the same time, you could still see the white coming through. Okay, and just wipe your sponge out. Go ahead, grab the other color. And for that one, I did the pink next, because that's nice and bright. And I wanted to see where I'm putting that. So same process, grab your sponge again, brush it right onto the brush. And for this one, I'm not going to put too much. A splat here, little splat there, little splat there. You know, different sizes around. And that's good enough on that one. And right now, it doesn't look like much, right? kind of looks like, what am I doing? But it actually is going to come together really great. So there we have the pink. And now we'll move on to the green has some pink left there so I'll just use the other side and now we'll grab the blue or the green it's more of a blue color I should say and we'll do the same thing grab your little brush and your sponge and brush that right on just like that need a little bit more on this color 
And once this also mixes in with the yellow that's on the back in there, it's going to give you a little highlight of green in there. But very nice pastel color looking. So there we go, if you could see that. So you do see it. And you still have some of the white and the yellow coming through. So you don't want it totally covered. It's very, very light, but you will see it in the pictures better once the pictures are taken. You'll see the close-up of it. So it, it really pulls together really well. So here we go again. You know, just blotch it up all over. And that's that. So we're done here. We have to just give this a couple seconds to dry. We're done with all the sponging. And while that's drying, I'll go ahead and apply my jewel on the index fingernail. So for that, you're going to need to grab your top coat, a little jewel, whatever you're using, the gems, the colorful little beads, whatever you have, and also a little dotting tool or a bobby pin if you have that. I'm going to use a dotting tool tonight, but the bobby pin is just as effective. Now what I actually did is I, I am using these tiny little circle jewels and I'm using the brighter color pink because it almost pulls together and matches the stamping polish that I've used prior to. So let's stick with that. And for that I am going to use my tiny little handy dandy little wax pencil to pick that up. There we go. And we just need one. Put that right there. And then apply the top coat first so we can get that jewel stuck into place. A nice drop right at the base of the nail there next to the cuticle. But I'm covering the entire nail as you can see. And then I'm just going to press this onto that polish and make sure it's set in there. Kind of let it cling on to that nail polish. And I'm just pressing on it gently and tapping on it to secure it in there. And we'll let that set for a few seconds before we go on ahead and apply top coat to it. Okay, so I let that dry for about five or six seconds. That should be good enough. So we could go ahead now and apply the top coat, the second layer of top coat before we add the other little dots on there. And then we'll move on to the stamping. So let me grab that top coat again. And again, make sure it's nice and loaded because you want to really lock that jewel in there. And I'm going over this and around it because I really want it to pile on there to secure that little bead, gem, jewel, whatever you use it in. And while this is drying, we have to let that dry now. And while that's drying, let's go ahead and stamp because this is perfectly dried. We can go ahead and stamp over that now. So for the actual stamping, the color I'm actually using is from my Bondle Monster collection tonight. It's a very, very dark purple. It's like an almost like an eggplant kind of purple. And this is from the Star Slinger collection and it's B163. So there it is. And the stamping plate that I'll be using is my JQ series number 47. And I will be pulling out this little design right here. So let me grab my other stuff and let's get started on this. All right, so here we go now. So we're gonna use this one here and I'm using my little Bondo Monster Scraper and some regular acetone to clean the plate out. So here we go. Now for this one, you are going to need to grab your detailing brush and also whatever background you want the flower to be in. I am actually using pink on this. I really like how the pink look. So I'm going to stick to using that pink. And if you look at, it's nice and clean, but those little tiny spaces on there, that's what I'm going to actually fill in with my pink nail polish. So you can either go ahead and use straight off the nail polish bottle. You can use that brush or you can just use a de detailing brush. I prefer to use my little detailing brush because it's very tiny little bits that need to be covered. It's not a whole chunk. And I'm basically just going in, tapping it in, brushing it in, just to cover a little bit off that. 
And even though it looks transparent there still, once you get it on the nail, with the other background colors, it's going to fill right in. And once you have those little guys covered up, just go on and transfer it on to your nails. So there's the first one. Wipe that little brush off. And there it is there. You could see it now better. And we'll just go on and transfer that over to the nail. There it is at the bottom there. And I'm pressing down. And I'm also rolling at the same time. So it's a press and roll method we're using here. But go slow because the nail polish could be dried at this point and you don't want to lift too quickly and rip their little design up. And there it is. So that one is done. Let's do the thumb. And then we'll come back to finishing on the index. So let me clean my little stamper and the scraping card here to clean my stamping plate. And let's do the thumb. So it has some lifted parts on here. When that happens, you just go in and gently tap it down with the fingers. And we'll let that set in for a minute. And for now, we'll finish up with the design on the index nail, the little bits that we're doing. And for that one, again, you're going to need your dotting tool. And I'm actually going back to using the stamping polish. So you can grab hold of that. And I'm using a very fine point on the dotting tool. So I have this really tiny one here. Or you can even use the bigger side, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to start from the two sides first. Line them up. Make two little dots. And then directly on the top. And then we fill in the two sides off it. I'm going to grab a little more for the top. There we go. And then the two sides to even it up. And that's pretty much it. Now this has to also dry before we can apply uh, another layer of the top coat. And I do apply a lot of top coat on the jewels just to secure them like I always mention to you guys. If you secure your jewels re really well with at least two layers of top coat, they stay in there for about a week. The last manicure I actually did was about six days ago and I... I really had to work on getting those little jewels out so they do last a long long time if you do it correctly okay so let this dry and let's go clean up and top coat that two nails that we just stamped on so first i'm gonna actually remove the latex that i've used tonight and let's see if we have a big old mess at the bottom the latex really does help with the cleanup process And there we go. And if you can see, I do have some hangouts on the nail polish. I'm just going to pick that right out. Dust it off just a little. And it doesn't look like we're going to need acetone on this one, which is also a plus. Because the acetone really dries out your cuticles and around the fingers. So I try to use less acetone all the time. This one also looks like we don't need to have too much of the cleanup. Very good. It does need just a little. I do have some right on my fingers here, so I do need to clean that up. So I'm just going to use my little cleanup brush here. A little regular brush, whatever you have, you could find. And just go in gently and remove whatever excess polish you might have that you don't want. This one is actually on the cuticle, so I'm taking my time to remove that. Remember, go very gently. You don't want to mess up the manicure you just worked on. And there we go. So that's that. Great. And of course, now to apply the top coat. So as usual, when you're applying your top coat, I'm going to repeat myself like I do in every video. Um, when you're applying your top coat, be very generous with the nail polish itself. 
do not skimp do not press as you're painting over your nails because if you press down you could ruin the manicure you do not want to go over the same area twice as what well. that could also ruin your manicure so here I'm doing this starting from one side with a nice loaded brush of my fast drying top coat start from one side and work your way to the other avoiding swiping over it twice and also I like to cap my nails because that helps to prevent wear and tear from the tips going towards the cuticle. I'll do this one first and then we'll go back to that index finger. Take a little more. And cap it. And now the index finger and this one you want to do also be generous because you don't want that nail polish to drag on. And that's pretty much it. Take a look at the close-up with the pictures and I'll be right back. here it is guys the first spring manicure for you or you can even use this one for Easter if you like the colors are perfect for that as well and I do hope you guys enjoyed this video tonight if you have any questions always feel free to write to me I will answer you as best as I can and as fast as I can and also don't forget to subscribe for my upcoming newest videos as well and thank you all so very much for popping by and watching my video I do appreciate it and until next time Bye now. Have a good night.